All of the work with Heathrow has been turning a transport hub into a, a home of stories. You walk around and there are people bursting into tears like every other couple of minutes because there's all these emotional arrivals and departures. So that's a really lovely backdrop to write a story against. The relationship of Dominic with the mill um, just gives you that confidence that they are going to you know, pull off what they're telling you they're going to pull off. And to be honest, they were the, the best meetings I think I've, I've ever done. Sitting here and seeing this ridiculous, wonderful stuff happen in front of your eyes, it's, it's amazing. Heathrow is such a lovely, simple story. We knew that as well as being a huge technical challenge, the big challenge really was how are we going to get their characters to really shine through. The right balance, if they felt like authentic teddy bears, but also they had some character and kept some of the nuances of the real human couple. We started with Dominic with really simple pencil sketches and then we moved on to the mammoth task of adding layer after layer of detail from tiny stray hairs on the hats and noses to oversized slightly wonky stitching on the clothing. That process probably went on for a couple of months and it was just kind of iterative starting first with just getting the form, the size, it ended up being quite a long and involved process. Once we'd actually built the bears, we then had to find out how they moved. We actually took a teddy bear we were using as reference and shot a little stop motion test. We wanted to stick to what you'd believe a teddy bear could physically do to avoid them being cartoon-like. It was amazing how very subtle head or body movements could show so much character and emotions. The carousel sequence where the granddad's struggling to get his suitcase. That was where we really kind of started getting into the cloth simulation side of things, making sure all the jackets moved authentically when the bears were moving so they felt like they were actually made out of cloth. And then that's where we took it to the lighting and rendering stage. Started finessing the fur and the shading to make sure each bear, like the fabric of their coat, felt right in every single shot, down to the glints in their eyes. When we got really, really close up, looked at doing some fur simulation. The granddad's putting his glasses on as the arm of his glasses sweeps through his fur. Because of the mill's expertise and because of everything that Dominic was saying, you just completely believe it. They make it feel very real and very tangible and very possible. Both technically and creatively, Heathrow was a real challenge, but it was also great fun for us all to be able to work with Dominic and Havas, and I'm really proud of how well the spot turned out. People seem to have really related to it. The success has been ridiculous. We've seen 75 million organic views, There's taxis driving around with the bears' faces on, and uh, they just feel incredibly real, and, and, and you know, they deserve to be everywhere, I think.